Hey, what's going on everyone? This is uh, Bernie with CG Spectrum. Happy Memorial Day for those who are in the US. I hope you guys had a good weekend or having a good weekend. Cool, uh, you guys can't see it, but I have a CG Spectrum t-shirt on. They sent me one few days back. I should have gotten an extra large because <laughs> this is one of those fitted t-shirts where it's just super tight. It's a large but it's, it feels like a medium or something. Uh, anyways. Oh interesting. Cool as they sent me a mug too. So I'll be using this today and in the upcoming uh, streams here. All right, cool. So look at this. Uh, we got this uh, Kaiju back. And the reason why is because they want or need a turnaround. And it is a necessary thing. Again, as you guys all know, it is not my favorite thing to do probably my least favorite thing to do but uh necessary it's a necessary evil in my book and really it just if i think about it um as a concept artist it's just helpful to the uh, 3d artist so we're gonna do what we can to help 3d artists out can a really good uh you know, 3D artists figure this out. Yes, they can. Uh, they don't need a turnaround for this. Uh, or like maybe some rough sketches uh, for the head to show the, um, you know, different designs or what's going on with the head. But other than that, they would not really need a, uh, a turnaround for something like this. But at the same time, for a beginner, and this is what it's really made for, uh, the last project for, uh, in the curriculum for a beginner 3D artist, uh, it would be very helpful. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna get straight into this. And let's see how much of it I get done today. I mean, To be completely honest, when I work on uh, orthos, when I used to, I mean, like back in the day, I would take my time. I wouldn't go full on like, you know, let's get this done as soon as possible. Because if I did that, they would expect me to do this kind of stuff all the time and I hate it. So <laughs> I would take my time when I do uh, turnarounds. but. Uh, here uh, for this video for this stream. I want to get it done as soon as possible actually So yeah, let's try it out and you so you guys can see um, Again from the beginning like how I would go about uh, doing a turnaround uh, This right here is basically a side view. I mean Maybe I'll just make a slight adjustment to the side view here, but I think mainly what I'm going to focus on is a front view and the back view probably yeah so that is what I'll focus on hey Patrick what's going on yeah Patrick are you in the US so what I do here is I just lower the opacity and I'll draw out my guides or pull my guides down uh, let's where the ruler go. Oh, you're in Europe, so uh, Memorial Day doesn't mean anything for you there, right? It's a Memorial Day here today in the U.S. Uh, so um, got the day off from my uh, full-time job. Uh, so we were just hanging out uh, with family and took the kids to uh, the grandparents' place, and they uh, they went swimming, so they had fun. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Margaret? How are you doing? Uh, 
anyways, let's see. Oh, the rulers, that's what I was looking for. Uh, I changed the um, the shortcut to the rulers to something else, so. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is, okay. So yeah, they want me to do uh, turnarounds for everything here. So I'm gonna start with the uh, the main guy. So yeah, you just pull these guides down. And I'm really pulling them down just to the main points. Don't have to do it for every single thing, of course. And I'm going to um, do the front and back views. I'm going to match them up to the uh, arm and the leg that are on the opposite side. Why? It's just because it looks more um, proportionally like more, it makes more sense or it, like it looks more like a default position. says uh, she ate some expired cheese maybe because she doesn't feel too good that doesn't sound good uh, but you still made it <laughs> yeah, I hope you feel better soon my kid uh, my youngest child he um, he's six years no sorry he's seven years old now and last week he had, um, his face started swelling up. And so we weren't sure what was going on. And we checked and his molars were coming out. Uh, two of his molars on one side of his face. And uh, yeah, like for me, that never happened to me when I was a kid where you would actually see swelling. But his, his whole face started swelling up and it kept getting worse where even like up, up around his eye and his nose, it was swelling up. So we got all a little worried and um, uh, yeah, we called his dentist and they told us to give him antibiotics. But anyways, he's doing better now. But yeah, it's always kind of crazy when, uh, or stressful when a uh, kid gets sick or like weird things happen that you don't expect with kids. Uh, All right, so I just roughed in the uh, guidelines here. I mean, it's going to change. These are just rough guidelines again. To help yeah, just guide where everything's going to go. And I'll start with the front view. All right. You'll see how messy I am. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to act like uh, I don't care about what you guys think. And just go with it. Because what I do is I don't try to um, do a perfect drawing from the beginning. Because that will stress me out. I'll just do a rough um, sketch in. So um, I kind of know uh, where everything's going to go. And then do another uh, cleanup pass on top of that. Sometimes I have to do multiple cleanup passes depending on how complex the design is. And some people are really good at this stuff, but again, I've never been that good at doing uh, turnarounds, even though I can do it if I have to. Excuses, excuses, but that's just the truth. Uh, I'm going to increase the uh, image size on this, the resolution. 
just to make sure that I have enough resolution to see everything. Uh, let's see. I think that should be enough. <laughs> Margaret says uh, she knowingly eats expired things because they're not too expired. Crazy. I do not do that. I'm like kind of... Um, I always throw things out if they're expired because I had bad experiences in the past. Um, so I'm like overly cautious of that kind of stuff, especially like meats, obviously. Uh, you could get really sick with that. But that's funny that, uh, that you, <laughs> you do purposely eat expired things if they're not too expired. That's kind of funny. I mean, I know people like that. Uh, I think my dad's like that. <laughs> Even today I went, like I said, I took the kids over to their place to go swimming. And uh, I was throwing out some stuff, like I had um, some trash, like just recyclable stuff. And um, like he, he, they have like a larger trash can, right? So I took some stuff over to throw out. And he's like looking through what I'm throwing out. And he's like picking stuff out. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's like that even with uh, trash where he doesn't want to waste anything. Which makes sense, you know, to some degree. I understand why. But, you know, he overdoes it, in my opinion. Oh, it's snapping. Gotta turn off snap. So, yeah, if you see that happening, I mean, just for people who don't know. If you see this going on, where you uh, see it being, the line being affected by your guidelines, it's because you have snap on. So, you just uh, turn that off right here. And then you're fine. All right, so let me draw my vertical or get my vertical guideline in as well. Let's do that, something like that. All right, let's get this going. And sure, I'm going to mirror it later, but um, for now, I, when I'm sketching it in, I'll just sketch everything in just to get a feel for it overall. But yeah, I'll eventually I'll mirror it. Margaret says, uh, my parents always drilled that into me so many years old condiments that's funny it's true though i mean certain things you can safely eat i mean it just you know certain things the expiration just means it's not going to taste as good right it's not going to be as fresh it's still okay to eat uh it's like best buy dates right best buy a certain date uh, but yes, yeah, certain other, you know, I have cheese, cheeses, I would not risk it for sure. Like any kind of dairy product, I wouldn't risk it. Any kind of meats would not risk it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to continue the tradition, right? Of uh, eating expired food. <laughs> No, I'm just messing. It's all good. Whatever works for you. Uh, man, I, I was hesitating in my mind, like questioning if I should share this or not, but I, I think it's fine. 
Uh, but yeah, my, uh, my mother-in-law actually, uh, when I was, uh, I think I was engaged actually at this point with my, uh, current, I mean, I was saying current wife, like I had a different wife <laughs> with my wife. Um, I think I was engaged at the time and my mother-in-law, she gave me like some hamburger meat to, to eat and it was like um like a packaged uh ham hamburger meat thingy and right when i saw it immediately i knew i shouldn't eat it because the package design was like from the 80s or something it's like one of those drawings like with a family it's like a line drawing of a family eating hamburgers or grilling or something like that and it's like in that old school style and I was like, what the heck? Like, why is she giving me this? And my wife told me that it was, uh, it was something she bought like a long time ago in high school or something. And that they never ate. It was in their old, like they have multiple freezers. It, it was in one of their like freezers. And she was telling me to take it home and eat it. And I was like, oh my God, if I eat that, I'm going to die. But anyways, that's a story I keep telling, uh, I keep bringing up that story how uh, my mother-in-law tried to kill me with that meat because she didn't like me. But yeah, like, again, the crazy thing is that package design was like from the eighties or something. I don't know. It looked like from the eighties, it was probably from the nineties, but it looked like it was from the eighties. But yeah, everyone's, uh, I guess, standard of what's okay to eat is different. Hey, Blasphemer, yes! They got me to do the orthos. You told me. You're right. I'm trying to have a good attitude. But I'm failing. But I'll try again. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, my mother-in-law. The funny thing is too, or the ironic thing is that she's in the health industry. Like, uh, I won't say exactly what, but she is her uh, career is with health and uh, medicine and all that right and she was giving me like meat that was over 10 years old uh, i don't care if it was in the freezer right i would get sick eating that so my conclusion was that she was trying to kill me because <laughs> it's not like she's not unknowledgeable about that kind of stuff <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, he was trying to kill me. Okay, this part's confusing to me. Let's just make it up. I went too far out with that jaw and bring it back in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's something, you know, you would do if, uh, <laughs> if you had a daughter, right? And she brings a guy home and you don't like him. 
<laughs> but this was her way of trying to get rid of me, maybe. I'm I'm joking, guys. Of course. Uh, well, I I hope that wasn't the case. But yeah, it, at the time, it really didn't make any sense. Well, it still doesn't make sense. I was, like, so confused by it. I'm like, you want me to eat this? I'm gonna die. But I, I didn't say anything. I just took it. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be disrespectful. It's like... Maybe it's an Asian thing? I don't know. Uh, didn't want to, like, offend. Didn't want to, like... I'm just glad she didn't cook it in front of me and make me eat it in front of her. That's what I was happy about. <laughs> okay, let's see here. See, I have no idea what's going on here, so I'm just going to start drawing, though, because I don't want to get hung up on it. I might have made the head too wide. I'm not sure at this point. Probably. Margaret says, honestly, there's just something about Asian parents and their personal beliefs defying scientific knowledge that they're aware of. Yep. I've experienced that too. And if you argue with them, they get mad at you. <laughs> if you don't do what they tell you to do. Today, even that happened to me even today. Uh, I went over and we had lunch. After lunch, my dad like handed me a drink. It was this brown drink. And I was like, what is this? And he's like, it's good for you, just drink it. And I'm like, no, tell me what's in here. And he like kept hesitating to tell me. And I'm like, why can't you just tell me what's in here? <laughs> and he, he wants me to, I guess, trust him, right? And just drink it. But I'm like, man, I don't know if I should trust you. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, this stuff goes in front. I'm gonna bring this in. Grab this little thing. Stick with that for now. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. Okay. A thick neck.
And this guy has a thick neck. Uh... So part of it might look off just because, um, like the anatomy might look a bit off because it's not human, obviously, and I would have to kind of finesse some things later on to make the anatomy work. But again, I'm not going to worry about that stuff right now. Just saying. this pull it to the top just so I can see the image a little better the what happened there don't know <laughs> Oh, just my bad. Got a little confused there. Let's continue. Yeah, Margaret, I guess it's the same thing. Asian parents are just giving you weird things to eat. Oh, what was it, Blasphemer? Um, <laughs> he just like started saying a bunch of things. Man, I don't remember what it was actually. It was like some herbal drink. I don't know, like a bunch of different herbs and stuff like that. I mean, after like I kept asking him what was in it, he just kept pushing it at me. So I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to drink it. So I guess I trained him to think he could get away with it. So it's my fault. <laughs> it's all my fault. I just didn't want to make a big deal out of it, I guess. Asian parents get mad over like the smallest thing, so... Again, it's because they feel like disrespected or something or like you're not listening to them. So like why ruin the whole day because I don't want to drink this drink or because they won't tell me what's in it. So I just drank it. But yeah, some kind of herbal drink. I don't know. Oh man, you got a big old chest. I might redraw that. I gotta consider the kind of the perspective, like the angle where this chest is going. Wide, huh? Cool. 
cod liver oil. Yeah, I heard some people do that, right? Like uh, Caucasian people. <laughs> I don't, I thought about buying some of that because I was into um, like fish oil, right? Eating fish oil, like omega-3 fatty acids or whatever for uh, health reasons, right? And I heard uh, cod liver oil is really good. And sometimes people, uh, you know, like drink spoon fill, fills of it or fulls of spoonfuls of it right uh, instead of uh, having it in a what you call it a pill because it's I guess it's a lot like more cost effective when it's uh, when it's just in a bottle so I thought about getting it but I'm like nope I'm probably gonna like burp it all up so decided to stick with the uh, pills but yeah I know that um, Caucasian people eat it right Oh yeah, goji berries, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. The, uh, the Chinese dates, the, uh, what is it called, uh... I know it's called Li, like a Li Chinese date. Oh, is that what they call it? Yeah, the Li variety. <laughs> that anise, whatever, how do you pronounce it? I don't even know, but it looks like a little star or something, right? When it's cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey John, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm just doing or turnarounds, orthographic views for it, uh, for a 3D artist or the 3D uh, curriculum at CG Spectrum. Yeah, not the best, not the most fun thing to do, at least for me, uh, but uh, necessary for a beginner artist, especially. So that's what I'm trying to do. Trying to. Hmm, I'm trying to decide how to have the arms, if I should have it out or in. Let's see, just put it out. Let's start out for now. Or sorry, I guess it's in. I don't want to do a T pose, that would be so ugly. Man, that looks weird. But we're gonna keep going with it. For me, it's so important just to keep moving forward because, oh, what the, oh, sorry. Because uh, I'm looking for every excuse to just stop. <laughs> I'm looking for every excuse in the book to uh, slow down here. Uh, and I don't wanna do that though. Dang, you look so thick up there. But yeah, again, got to keep reminding myself I'm going to make adjustments later. So it don't matter. You'll see it change quite a bit, I think, from what I'm doing right now into when it's done. And yeah, like when I'm when you're drawing something that is not typical, meaning typically what you would draw, at least for me, it's hard to get the proportions right. Or it's easy to get hung up on all that stuff. So again, I'm trying not to, trying not to. Oh, that looks so weird though, but I know it's off, but gotta keep going. I'm gonna move it over here.
Blasphemer says the uh, caught liver is more of a Nordic thing. Okay. Uh, John Garrett says, uh, necessary for production. I am a 30 year veteran of the 3D arts. Wow, that's awesome. It is necessary for production uh, for the most part. Uh, when I worked at Blizzard back in the day, um, it wasn't necessary for a lot of the characters just because our, our 3D artists were super, uh, super great at what they did and they, um, you know, they're able to interpret it uh, well and uh, we were just working right next door to them so they would just come over and uh, we would talk, you know, review what they're working on and make adjustments if they needed to. Uh, but again, especially when uh, things are getting outsourced, the 3D art is getting outsourced, um, or it's just a larger game company, then sure, having the 3D, uh, like the, uh, sorry, the 2D ortho views are completely necessary because it can't be left up to interpretation, uh, the design that is, right? Everything has to be like one-to-one -one basically where you could uh, interpret it one-to-one -one, where there is no deviation or interpretation of what uh, the viewer is looking at. For sure. Especially these days, everything's getting outsourced. So it's more and more important that you have these turnarounds for your concepts. If it's like a, um, for a realistic game and um, yeah, it's like human characters, right? Like, let's say for like, uh, you know, like a military game, soldier game, where the proportions are all pretty much the same and it's uh, based off of real realism, then you may not need a turnaround. Maybe just a turnaround for their base model or their base uh, human figure, right? And then everything else uh, could be a three quarter uh, and a back quarter uh, view. Three quarter front view, back quarter, three quarter a back view. If that makes sense. But anyways, look, I, I'm interpreting this guy differently myself, and I could already tell it's wrong. Uh, so if I'm interpreting it wrong, then, uh, then you know, it's left up to interpretation by multiple people, whoever's looking at it, whether it's the 3D artist or the, uh, the art director, right? Everyone that sees it can interpret it differently, uh, and then it becomes a problem. Look at this guy, he's pregnant. I got a pregnant um, kaiju here. But again, I'm just going to keep going. I know it's off. But whatever. This Photoshop. Change everything. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm matching it up to this leg right here. This one. So I'm going to erase that. Oh boy, he's a big boy. legs are looking stubby. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Sorry. I'm laughing at myself. I am in trouble. This is why you need interns. You got the interns doing this stuff. <laughs> half, that's a half joke. Not completely serious, but, you know. I'm done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish I was. 
it's the new pregnant uh kaiju a new uh version of this we're gonna have baby soon that'll be kind of cool Was, has there been a movie or show where they have like a kaiju or godzilla with babies that'll be cool little babies coming out of the water of the ocean Shooting out flames. John Garrett, you worked on the Oddworld games? That's awesome. Uh, what are you doing here? You're just checking this out? You're checking out, like, how not to do orthos? <laughs> I I loved uh, playing the Oddworld games. I played a couple of them. Uh, yeah, and I remember looking at the artwork for that, too. That was cool. Uh, cool style and uh, just a uh, fun-looking... Um, Game, yeah, world, uh, cool, d uh, developed world. Yeah, what are you doing here? I'm confused. How not? Are you just getting a kick out of this? <laughs> I've been doing. Look, I've been doing this for like twenty years, and look at look at this. But again, I'm not really doing orthos usually. So, uh, are you doing a uh, 2D art now, John? Are you trying to do 2D art? I think I've seen your name actually. That's crazy. It sounds familiar. Let me look it up. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Oh, you're doing ZBrush. That's cool. Great. So, um, are you still working in the gaming industry, John? Or are you taking some time off? Learning? Just having fun? What are you up to? I'm going to cut this head out and then squeeze everything in. You're watching the wrong stream, John. This is a what not to do stream. I guess you can learn from that too, right? What not to do. That's very important too, right? <laughs> but that's that's cool that we got a uh, industry uh, professional in here for 30 years. Yeah, Oddworld goes way back, I know. Because I was playing that stuff when I was a kid. Or, I guess a teenager, but still. Wow. Things have changed so much too, right? Over the, uh... I mean, every, every other year things are changing so quickly in the gaming industry. It's crazy how things have changed. Uh, I'm gonna move this over and squeeze all this in. Slim them up a bit. Let's see how much I gotta slim them up though.
Oh, he's so, so chunky. Oh, you worked on Transformers too? That's awesome. Designing trucks for the movie in 2014. Cool, cool, cool. I had a friend who worked on it. Do you know, have you heard of Josh Nizzi? Josh Nizzi, he worked on the uh, the Transformer uh, character designs, the robot designs. Uh, but yeah, I think he worked on that, the one you worked on too, 2014. Age of Extin Extinction, cool. Oops. Yeah, that head looks way too chunky too. I'm gonna shrink that down. But like, you know, you guys are getting a real picture of what I what I actually do. <laughs> I mean, you see all these like pretty drawings that people do and stuff like that. Nope, that's not me. At least not initially. This is reality, for me at least. Again, some people do actually do it like that, but not me. And so you, could, you guys could find some comfort in that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm slimming up his face a little bit. Actually, I just want his jaw to be a little thinner. Or not as wide, I guess. Right. I was just imagining like what it would be like if a uh, 3D artist follow <laughs> follow my turnarounds <laughs> like to the T, right? They do the side view, front view, back view, whatever. They match it up and it looks nothing like the the uh, initial drawing like the this one that I have. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want someone to uh, submit that chip in a uh, CG Spectrum. Show me what it looks like when you follow this to the T. What it ends up looking like. Anyways. Closer. By the way, you could block it in too. I'm, I'm just doing a line drawing right now, but you could block this in first and do a line drawing on top, whatever's easier. Blocking it in meaning like, uh, I guess that it could be easier to see your proportions that way. Uh, I've done both in the past. I just forgot about it right now. Yeah, you could like block it in like that just to see like the overall proportions better maybe. So that's one way of doing it too. 
and I guess this would really help in terms of like not getting caught up in the details but really focusing on the overall so keep, something to keep in mind for you guys and then after that you could put in the uh, draw it in right draw in the details and things like that Anyways, you get what I'm saying. All right. John says, I was in the design studio at Freightliner Trucks and that came through the studios at that time. Interesting, okay, cool. John says, I have applied at Blizzard and keep getting turned down. I could use some input on my content to improve my chances. Uh, send a, yeah, sure. Are you with CG Spectrum or are you just, did you just search this through uh, YouTube? How did you uh, get connected here? Are you actually with CG Spectrum? Yeah, with Blizzard, right? Um, and this is true for a lot of game companies nowadays, like the larger ones usually. Um, they're just super picky about style. Yeah. Uh, that's probably why you're getting a, getting turned down by Blizzard, I'm assuming. Did they give you any feedback or you don't even hear hear back from them at all? Yeah, I have friends who, you know, friends who have been in the industry for quite a while as well, and they, they're getting turned down as well, like for many, many years, uh, decades even. I have a friend who's been trying to get into Blizzard because he just really likes Blizzard games. Um, but again, it, it, well, from what I see, it's a style issue. Uh, the style has to be pretty spot on, especially if you're a 3D artist. Uh, the style has to be spot on. And my the friend that I'm talking about is also a uh, 3D character artist. So yeah. With the 2D art, they have some wiggle room. Uh, but yeah, with 3D, I don't think they have any wiggle room. If you're trying to go on, are you trying to apply for like cinematics, like the cinematics department or uh, in, like an in-game team? Oh, no feedback, huh? Yeah, it's always tough when they don't give you feedback. Oh, so Blizzard tried to hire you when you were two weeks into the job at Oddworld? Crazy. So they wanted you back then, but... <laughs> so this would have been like way in the beginning. Yeah, wow. Was it, was it the cinematics team or what was it? What were they trying to hire you for? Yeah, they were a startup. Yeah, it's always tough to change jobs when you're like, you know, you just started, right? I mean, I ha I've had that experience where I actually did change jobs multiple times. <laughs> and it's tough, it's never fun. Uh, Recently, I did. Um, I was at a job uh, for only like almost two months. And uh, 
I ended up changing my job for multiple reasons, but yeah, I know it's not an easy decision when you just started at a place. Does that look better? Proportions look a little better to me. So I'm just going to keep going with this. I, I'm probably still going to make adjustments, but... Whoa. going to keep going here. Yeah, so it is uh, the, the Cinematics team, huh? That's cool. Then you would have met all the... You would have been friends with everybody that I know. Well, they were all the, you know, the studio heads and stuff like, or the uh, cinematic leads and heads at the time that I joined, but you would have been part of that crew. That's pretty crazy. So is your stuff right now more um, high res then? So you want to do like cinematic stuff as well, like currently for Blizzard, or you want to do in-game stuff? Sorry if if I keep asking the same question. I'm just trying to make sure I understand where you're coming from. Oh, either, okay. Uh, John saying Oddworld was taking the Art Center folks and taking them to a new level. Cool. Yeah, I went to Art Center. Um, back in the day, yeah, Art Center was great. I mean, they are still are, but I mean, you know. At the time, I don't think they had any competition, right? Um, yeah. They were the best. It's a bit different now, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, my general thought is that you should choose um, what you're applying for specifically. Either uh, cinematics or... Um, or in-game it's pretty different so i mean obviously but i mean at blizzard thinking about how it was at blizzard um i don't think i knew anybody who was doing both cinematic stuff and uh in-game 3d art yeah so that's something um you gotta decide on and um cater your portfolio towards i think when you apply to blizzard Yeah. Yeah, again, if you, I don't know, like, maybe you could send me uh, your portfolio or what should I search for when I'm Googling it? Is it just your name and a portfolio? It's kind of fun though. Oops. By the way, uh, 3D, if there's any 3D artists watching this right now, ask John some questions. Because I know there's some 3D artists that watch this stream. I think I see your art station. I don't know if that's... No, oh, that can't be you. Is that you? There's a John Garrett that does fantasy, like comic book art. That's not you. It's 
So let me know how to find your stuff. Don. I don't think you go post stuff here. It's not gonna show it, I don't think. I don't think they show links in this stream. Am I right? So just, if you could just tell me what to Google. Yeah, it's not art station, yeah. But, uh, yeah, tell me what to Google. You don't know? Uh, yeah, your link or whatever didn't show up. The site. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to the head and try to fix it up because it is completely off. Overall proportions are looking a little better though. But yeah, I gotta figure this head out. I'm just gonna mirror it real quick to see how messed off it is. <laughs> how messed up it is. Uh, yeah. Woo! Oh man! This guy. What have I done to you? Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh. Wow, that's that's pretty off. That's amazing. He's a re he looks like a wrestler though. You you gotta be wide to be a wrestler. He's ready to wrestle. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this, duplicate it, just in case I mess it up. And I'm going to push stuff around. The upper body is just way too wide. So I got to push this all in. Let's try that. Cut the head out for now. That looks better. Yeah. You got the bodybuilder uh, pose going on. Biceps are, are making his arms uh, tense up like that. <laughs> uh, where does head go? Okay. Uh oh, did I get rid of it completely? There it is. Oh boy. CG Spectrum, please don't make me do orthos again. This is a warning. Look at what I'm doing here. You guys really want me to keep doing this? Watch the stream and stop me from doing orthos. Please. Make someone else do it. <laughs> I'm so bad. But I mean, this is something that you guys could think about too. It's it's like what I talk about a lot with my uh, students. Professionals, sure, there's professionals who are good at a lot of things. But some professionals like me, I'm not good at everything. And 
you so meaning sometimes you don't have to be good at everything should you is it ideal to be yes but uh if you're just really good at certain things but not at everything can you get by can you uh you know do work in the industry yes you don't have to be wait to start applying wait to be perfect you know what i mean do you have to work your butt off sure because you have to be really good at a couple things at least right one or two things to get a job uh, but yeah you, you don't have to be great at everything this is proof right here <laughs> oh boy uh, i gotta fix this head man it's crazy looking all right let's just squeeze it in here Just stick with that. Dupe it. Wow. A little better. We're getting there. Send help, blasphemer. Help me. <laughs> I, all right, John. Um, Creative Control Studios. Okay, let's look it up. Hey, by the way, give me a like, please. If you like these streams, even though I'm doing a horrible job, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. And again, it, I on it like all joking aside, I feel like you know it gives you a picture of what it could actually look like, and uh, you know it's not all like pretty sometimes working in the industry. Um, the process could be a little messy, like what you see here. Okay, I see it, .net. So, should I look at gallery? No, no, sorry. 3D modeling and textures? I'm not gonna show it just in case unless you uh usually I don't show anything when I'm uh, doing the streams just in case yeah I won't show it but you guys can check it out whoever's watching it's creative control studios.net it looks cool yeah awesome work Yeah, I mean, just by looking at the uh, your uh, 3D modeling part, I'm assuming that's well, actually. And looking at your gallery. And I'm assuming that that's all you have for your portfolio. I think it's not enough. Like, I would want to see, like, more, you know, um, in terms of, like, I don't know, like that robot thing's cool, that weapon looks cool, stuff like that. Something more like sci-fi-ish, fantasy, whatever. Uh, that's what I would want to see. I mean, clearly you could model and do all that stuff, but um, 
yeah, I think it's seeing something that's more in the realm of whatever game you're going to be working on. So yeah, if you really wanted to um, work at Blizzard, get one of, like, choose, wh what game do you like at Blizzard? Oh, sorry. I just saw your uh, message. You said just hit me up with some feedback later. Uh, but it, yeah, I mean, I could do that too, but uh, I could give it to you. I could, I'm just, I already basically said everything I wanted to say. Um, but yeah, what game are you interested in? At uh, Blizzard, or like what... Uh, what game visually do you like the most at Blizzard? Dang, this head looks horrendous. Oh. I'm gonna warp this thing around. I'm gonna make it work. Oh my gosh. Starcraft. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Uh, that would fit you the, the best. Uh, let's see. So if that's the case, you do something like fan art where uh, you grab something from Starcraft, right? Like, for example, um, either the, uh, the marine suit, right? You got, you know, the marine, uh, the marine uh, outfit right the suit that they go in or one of those spaceships or like the uh okay i'm blanking out because i haven't played starcraft stuff in a while it's the uh not the mothership what am i talking about uh the terran side uh sorry i'm blanking out it's that big ship that they have the terrans have uh the uh the cannon, like they shoot that big old laser thing out. You could remodel that one. Or, um, what's that tank? The siege tank. You guys, you could do a siege tank. Anything like that. Whatever you think is cool from the game. If I were you, if I was in your position, I would uh, put my own twist to it. Um, but basically, um, use the same like mechanics or whatever it's supposed to be like, again, for the siege tank, for example, it, you're going to have things come out like to secure it to the ground and, um, it rotate, you know, the upper part of the tank rotate around. Um, it's going to look chunky. It's going to look big, right? Um, using those same ideas and, and, and you could definitely like steal uh, designs from what's currently out there, right? but just make it your own, make it better, right? If you can make it better, that's always a good start, yeah. Because I, in the past, I saw guys that, um, there was a guy named, uh, well, I guess I won't name names, sorry. Uh, There's a 3D character artist uh, from Brazil at the time, and the way he got a job at Blizzard was by redesigning uh, the uh, orc, one of the orcs, right? He made it like super high res, like super cool looking and he just submitted that and he got the job because it was better much better than what they currently had in, in the cinematic so it's like why wouldn't we hire this guy he can make our stuff look better so that was it he got hired based off of that one uh model that he did of the orc i think he ended up doing more like like hard surface stuff like what you're doing but he started, he got the job with the orc. So yeah, that, that works. I mean, basically, if, if your stuff doesn't match style wise, they're going to make you do a test anyways. So why not just, uh, just do it ahead of time, you know, like places like Blizzard, they like it when you know, you're already into their stuff, like, you know, their games, their style, their look. I know, like, I, my aunt used to work at Blizzard as well. She was a UI artist. 
and then she left Blizzard to work at Riot Games on League of Legends. And then she wanted me to apply too. Uh, she said there was like some concept positions that were open. So I just sent her my portfolio. I, I ha already had a job at the time. So she just wanted me to apply. So I did it through her. And yeah, I got turned down too. And it was because of the style. It wasn't really uh, matching uh, League of Legends, right? It's different from Blizzard. Even though some may see it as something similar. But again, they're very picky about... Um, style and a lot of game companies are becoming pickier and pickier about style these days more and more picky they don't want to babysit they don't want to like train you up uh, they want you to be ready to go unless you're like an art director if you're an art director it's a bit different um yeah because your style, like, whatever's in your portfolio doesn't have to necessarily match perfectly. Uh, as long as you understand, like, how that whole process works. Guys, I wish I was done here. At Blizzard, I'd be done. This is it. <laughs> the 3D artists could run with this. I'm gonna have to redraw this. Sounds good, John. Yeah, go for that. Yeah, if you, if you decide to do, I mean, I'm assuming you want to do, um, cinematic stuff just looking at your work right now I don't think you would want to do uh, the in-game things but but having said that I'm not really sure how detailed uh, Starcraft is going with their new uh, uh, their latest game I'm sure they're upping the resolution so maybe I mean who knows it might work too for that so not too long ago, well, a couple, let me see, two and a half years ago, maybe, I applied to Blizzard again. This was my second time. Uh, I quit the first time to do mobile games. I went back uh, to apply for actually Star StarCraft, to work on StarCraft. I'm not going to say any details, but yeah, StarCraft, uh, to, do, to be the art director for StarCraft. Um, that interview didn't go too well. <laughs> but uh i ended up getting hired for uh diablo immortal right the mobile game um because they had a need for a lead artist as well um uh, so my point is is that like you may apply for a certain position and um Basically, they are going to be thinking about how you may um, fit into the company in general, even if you're not right for the specific uh, role that you apply for. They'll still be thinking about how else they can uh, fit you in somewhere else. Yeah. So it's possible you could be a, really applying for both uh, cinematics and 3D. But I would, in your mind, uh, choose one direction at least. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. Cool, cool. Hey, give me a, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes, all right?
I'm back. If you guys missed it, I was showing people earlier that I got a CG Spectrum t-shirt they sent over. If you're listening, CG Spectrum, give me a hat, please. I always wear hats. You can't even see the logo. <laughs> you, look, you can't even see the logo here, right? What's the point of the shirt? Do I have to lift it up like this? What do I do? Right? They had a hat, actually, but something went wrong. I don't know what happened with the supplier. Uh, but I need a hat. See, I'm always wearing a hat. So get me a hat, please. They gave me, sent me a mug, too. I think I was showing it earlier, but... I mean, I can't hold this up. Maybe I'll put it in the back there somewhere. That's what I should do. But yeah, a hat would be perfect. Maybe some stickers. Maybe that'd be a good idea too. Put some stickers in the background. I guess I could just print it out. But I'm not going to. Oh boy. Man, the proportions look so different, right? Isn't that weird how um, you go from this view and then you draw the front view and all of a sudden the proportions look so off? So weird. Like the head looks so much bigger in this one. In this view, the head looks small, but the front view looks so big. I'm going to try to narrow it down even more, the head that is. Maybe I'm not squishing it in enough. Yeah, I tried to run uh, Blasphemer. <laughs> oh boy. With 3D art, so, wait. So those who are uh, 3D artists, what part do you guys hate the most? What do you guys not look forward to the most is it rigging is it uh well uv mapping is different now right it's so much easier isn't it i think that's what people used to hate the most in the past but from what i understand it's so much easier now is that true or not correct me if i'm wrong Oh, I got only 30 minutes left. Yeah! <laughs> so I have mixed feelings. Part of me wants to hurry up and finish this thing, and part of me just wants to, like, you know, for the pain to end. And worry about it next week. Just being honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for those, uh, or anybody here, um, what part of the art process do you hate the most? What do you not look forward to the most? Be honest and tell me. I'm sure it's different for everyone. And uh, how do you deal with it, maybe? Or do you not deal with it? I don't think I've dealt with the ortho part. I, I told you actually how I deal with it. I uh, Professionally, I go as slow as I can in the past. That's what I used to do. Don't go too fast with it. So they won't, they're like, oh, Bernie has a hard time doing orthos. Let's, let's have Bobby do it instead. Bobby's pretty fast at it. And then it works out. <laughs> so bad 
Bernie seems to struggle with orthos. Let's use them for uh, just character three quarter views. Oh man, the eye position is completely off for some reason. How did that happen? Huh. There we go, those proportions look a little bit better. That head looks much smaller now, which is good. So at this point, again, I'm still, still figuring out like the position of everything, the overall proportions, not worried about the drawing. Soon I will worry about the drawing getting there I'm very close to redrawing this guy John Garrett says being turned down sucks the most yep that does suck um yep uh blast humor says uh the late finishing part I guess Never know when to stop. Yeah, I hear that a lot from people. Um, Blaspheme, where you do concepts? Or what do you do? I'm assuming you do concept art. What I hate too, um, with the whole process of like applying is when they give you an art test. Honestly, man, maybe I'm just complaining. You know, I just complain a lot, but man, those art tests, I hate them because again, it takes like to do it right. It takes two weeks of full-time work to get a test right, to do it right. You know, the right way. That's a long time. That's like, uh, again, like 80 hours, 60 to 80 hours of work, real work you have to do to get an art test to, to do it correctly so, for some of them. It's not, it's no joke. And then when they, and then when they don't give you feedback on it or you don't hear back from them, oh boy, that's the worst. You just spent like two weeks working on something that, uh, that you didn't get any feedback on. I did some art tests for Blizzard too in the past, man. Like my second time uh, applying. It was for, um, yeah, I forgot about this though, but actually I did apply. My first uh, conversation was with Hearthstone, the uh, the mobile game, right? The card game. Uh, they were working on some other game and um, they, they made me do a test that took me uh, quite a bit of time. And then they're like, nope. We don't think you're right for this job. I'm like, wonderful. <laughs> Oops. anyways yeah you got to keep trying though that's all you can do right and when you're starting off though our test should not be a problem because it's basically helping you build your portfolio no one should be complaining about art tests when they're just starting off. Uh, meaning, you know, they're trying to get a foot in the door um, as an entry-level artist. In that case, you should not be complaining. You should be thankful. Um, but for those people who have jobs already, and then they got to do a... Sorry, almost so stupid, but they got to do an art test on top of their current, you know, schedule. It sucks. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but it's the truth. I mean, who has time for that? I guess if you're single and you don't have like, you know, you don't do anything else, then you got time. But for most people, who has time for that? Oh, man. 
This is completely off. Oh, his head is getting wide again. I'm bringing that back in. Double check. Whoa. Mega head. What the heck is going on? Why does the heck keep going up? Am I opening the wrong? Oh, shoot, I opened the wrong thing. Turn that off. With con uh, Blasphemer, with Concept Art, it should actually be easier. Again, sorry if I'm, um, I don't want to sound like I'm dismissing what you're saying. Uh, but in my mind, it's easier than uh, compared to illustration in terms of knowing when to stop. Maybe, I guess it could be confusing because as you think, um, with Concept Art, you may think, oh, it doesn't have to look finished because it's Concept Art, but it does, you know, especially when it's like the finalized image obviously you need to make it look complete like clean and you know everything's reading well it's all about readability right um uh yeah i guess that does make sense sometimes you could feel like is this enough or not because it's concept art um hmm in the industry what happens is uh Basically, you're limited by time. You're never gonna wonder what's when it's enough because you don't. You just never have enough time, anyways. For mo for the most part, at some game companies, if you're super lucky to work for one of them, um, again, I've heard uh, Riot Games, right? From people I know at Riot, they say they get a lot of time to explore. So I guess in that case, you may have that same issue where you're like, is this enough? But most game companies, you're never going to have that issue because you just don't have enough time anyways, right? So you, when you got to stop, you just got to stop. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but when you're doing portfolio stuff, uh, just, um, just take it as far as you can, like in terms of polish, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man margaret says i come back from dinner and of course i see how diablo looking it is yeah this is looking like diablo you're right you got me you got me uh it is oh my god what am i doing here it's freaking diablo demon i mean diablo dragon what am i doing a nightmare I want it to end <laughs> Margaret you shouldn't have spoke the truth you should have kept that to yourself what are you doing <laughs> the truth hurts keep it to yourself Margaret I'm just kidding but it does hurt a little bit <laughs> Uh, now I don't know what to do. I'm confused now. What do, where do I go from here? 
produtos. Dang, look at that head. It looks crazy. I'm rambling so much it's hard to concentrate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet for a second. Yeah, I, I look, I admire people who could talk and draw at the same time because I thought it would get easier and it, I guess it did get a little easier over time but it's still really hard for me I'm not I'm not good at multitasking That head is getting wide again. Oops.
Right. Uh, Blasphemer says, wow, that seems a bit rude, offering an art test and then never replying again. It happens all the time. I mean, they're just, um, when they're looking to hire somebody, they're looking at a ton of people at once. So is it rude? Yeah, but um, it happens. They're just super busy. Oh boy, Diablo. What's going on? The whiteness is destined to be happen de destined to be, just let it happen. I guess so. And Diablo too. This is the next Diablo. Just kidding. Is it time yet? <laughs> I, I need a break. I need a break from these turnarounds. My soul is dying. <laughs> Actually, I don't like how these uh, spikes are just uh, contained. They look very... Uh, contained within the head shape oh boy that means I'm gonna have to try something else let's just make it wide yeah I feel like it should come out a bit more break that shape gonna make this smaller too it looks kind of odd that it's so big let's bring it down here whoops That's probably wrong. I'm gonna try to scoot this all in.
I'm not going to talk. I'm in a dark place right now. <laughs> I'm in my dark place. Oh boy. All right, I'm calling it. This is the head. Cut this out. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Du duplicate it, please. Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. I don't care what you guys think. It's perfect. It's Diablo. Widehead. Diablo gained weight. That's what it is. Diablo 3 went out. Ate uh, over 8 over the summer break. Getting ready for hibernation. And this is what it looks like now. Awesome. Can I be done now? Nope. Dad bods. <laughs> Does have a dad bod. Uh, I'm 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 gonna cry on the live stream. Perfect, this is perfect. I gotta keep telling myself it's perfect. I gotta lie to myself. Keep going. <laughs> Just lie to yourself. Internet, can you cut out, please? <laughs> Why doesn't the internet cut out when you want it to? Oops. I'm just joking, guys. I'm a professional. I laugh as I say that, right? I'm a professional. Hmm, sorry, I keep clicking on and off. I'm looking at the neck area and trying to figure that out. Like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Trying to figure out how to describe that area.
All right. Success. I'm a winner. Clearly, you guys can see this has been successful at showing you guys what not to do. I've changed the title. <clears throat> what not to do? How to get out of doing orthos at work. That's what it should be. The secret techniques to getting out of doing turnarounds at work by Bernie Kane. How to give a kaiju, a dad bod. Oh man, whatever. I don't care, I'm going with this. All right, so I'm gonna start cleaning it up. Oh, time is up. Thank God. Time is up. <laughs> Blasphemer says, wow, Bernie wishing for an earthquake right now. I want an EMP strike right now. I want everything to just be wiped out. No record of the stream. Right? That's what I want. Uh, oh yeah, power belly. That's what it is, blasphemer. You know those uh, those guys that uh, power lift, the super strong guys that power lift have big bellies, right? They need it to um, push against their belts or something, right? Uh, their uh, weight belts or whatever. Margaret says it's good to know that professionals in the industry aren't stuck up. I guess. Uh, yeah, I would say they're not overall. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, in my case, I don't have a reason to be stuck up, so I can't be. <laughs> Some people do have reasons to be stuck up, uh, but generally they're not. They're all, everyone that I've worked with is pretty much is pretty cool. Uh, over 90% of everybody I've worked with is cool. Uh, or get, Blasphemer says, or get fired. What does that mean? I'm supposed to get fired. I might. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Margaret says tutorials we never expected to need. Yeah. A different angle on how to learn, right? How to learn what not to do. Anyways, thanks everyone. Thanks for uh, just messing around as I'm doing these orthos. I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun. Uh, as I go through the pain, you got to make the most out of it, right? Try to enjoy yourself and anything that you're doing uh so that's what i'm trying to do so sorry if it kind of seems weird for some of you guys to hear me say all this stuff but yeah it's just it's just how my mind works and how i get through things uh anyways um i hope you guys have a good week uh, doing all the work or all the projects that you're working on never give up keep going that's what matters okay keep going stay consistent and then you could draw orthos like me 20 years later just kidding <laughs> but seriously never give up keep going all right guys all right see ya have a good week bye